So I have some reviews to do, so let's get them started. I still have to look at these darts from that, uh, from that tack kit I was sent. But, before I review darts, I'm going to review a couple of last years. The first one I'm reviewing is the Micro Shots Night, uh, Fire Strike, excuse me, from, uh, that I got from GameStop for, uh, seven bucks. Alright, before I open this up, I'm going to take a look. This is basically a jolt. That's been done to look like a fire strike. I'll do a comparison later. Let's get this open. Here's the blaster. Actually, kind of comfortable. Whoa. Now I'm interested. I get to all uh, rebarrel it for uh, Boomco as part of the mod guide. Right now, I'm not gonna uh, do any kind of mod to this thing. It comes with two elites. Which is nice, I guess. You get to reload it twice. Nothing else in the box, except if you look at the back, there's two more. A strong arm and a hammer shot. Interesting. Let's see its power. Plenty of it. It's definitely got some punch. But like I said, this is basically a jolt. Nothing around it. As you can see, this one's been rebarreled for, uh, has the, uh, barrel insert for Boomco. I'll do a video on the barrel insert next time. But... Take a look at it in here. It's powerful. The 
this has a Bunko barrel insert. That's pretty powerful too. One second. Sorry about that. For a second. It was you for a second. I need it took about 20 minutes. This is a fire strike. An actual fire strike. This is the uh, jolt thing. As you can see, it's smaller, a lot smaller. It's about half the size. It's also primes like a jolt, like this. It also seems like this shell is glued on. Stupid decision. So if I wanted to open this up to get to the plunger and modify it, I'd have to break the solvent weld and ruin all this, which is not worth it. But this is unmoddable at, the point, at this point, since it's all glued together. This has a tack rail too, so I'm curious. Will it accommodate nerf attachments? Here's a recon site, and no, it doesn't accommodate nerf attachments. That sucks. Oh well. Not like it needs them. Comes with two elite darts compared to the three the uh, fire strike comes with, which stinks. Now what's to say about this one? Well, it is moddable. You'd have to break the shell in order to modify it, which is not worth it. This is basically a collector's item. So... Not really a positive review for this one. Avoid it if you uh, don't avoid it, but if you really want it, I said guess you could grab it. They're at GameStop for seven bucks, so it's better than the ten dollars you'd usually pay for these things. So I guess if you want it, get it. If not, I don't care. These things really don't really shouldn't have to get them unless you absolutely have to. Like I said, it's seven dollars, but it's unmoddable. It's really uncomfortable. It's unmoddable, uncomfortable. And be honest, I have to hold this thing like a sir or have my finger up here. Which isn't worth it. On the other hand, with this, my whole hand fits in it pretty easily. And with a Tex 6 spring in here, this thing is pretty powerful. So that's my review on the... this thing. Uh, Michael Schott's uh, Fire Strike. Don't get it if you if you want thinking it could perform well. It doesn't. If you want to get it for a collection, there is three in the first series. There's more coming the whole. There's more on the way. So get them if you want it. It's up to you. My suggestion is wait till the price goes down, or go to GameStop and get it because GameStop has them for six for seven bucks. It's up to you. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll be with you in the next video.